comes to raising boys, much has changed over the past 20 or 30 years. Our sons are being born into a digital age. We're trying to define and understand toxic masculinity. We've ushered in the Me Too, hashtag Me Too era, and now mums and dads are adapting to a post-pandemic world. So what are some of the vital tools we need to raise a man? Internationally renowned parenting specialist Megan DeBayer has put together a comprehensive guide to help parents turn their young sons into mature adults and we welcome author of How to Raise a Man, psychologist Megan Dubai, live from Lisbon. Nice to see you. Megan, boys um, often become difficult in their teen years. So take us on a, a tour of a young man's brain, if you will. Help us understand why. Okay, so we all know that adolescence is a tumultuous time of change. And we certainly see it happening neurologi uh, neurologically, emotionally, physically, but and also sexually, of course. But what is going on with um, the brain is that, um, firstly, there is this movement from the uh, into the prefrontal cortex, which means that the cerebellum is growing into its executive functioning, which is around, you know, the adaptive thinking. Can teenagers still... Um, have concrete thinking and logical thought, yes, they absolutely can. But there is a brain fog that happens as the brain is rewiring itself. And this thing called pruning and myelination is happening, which speeds up the habitual pathways. So the problem is for us is that habits are being laid down. And therefore, we're certainly hoping that it's, it's, it's good habits. The funniest uh, research that I read was that when a boy feels a strong desire, this executive functioning, which is the prefrontal cortex, almost closes down. So, of course, as parents, we're rushing around saying, think about the consequences, think about yeah, the consequences, yeah, yeah. and doing it, you know, for, yeah. for the right reason. Now, we understand from your work it's important for parents, mums in particular, to change their parenting style at this period in their son's life. Now, you believe conscience, uh, conscious parenting is the key. What exactly is that? Yes, yes, yes. You know, I often say in my mother's groups and my online courses, if you're going to raise somebody properly, raise yourself. So we kind of, we've got to be the adult in the room. And this is the heart of conscious parenting. Become more self-aware, to have more authentic intentions, and to move from a place of re emotional reaction into a more in intentional response. I'm really big on us being more sensitive and aware of the presence that we bring into the room and the presence that we bring into our relationship. So obviously, if we want to raise um, consciousness and improve um, our values into a sort of a higher, um, higher order value set, then we, we naturally have to move towards more compassion, more caring, more open-heartedness. And as parents, we can practice having an open mind, an open heart, and an open will to engage. This kind of really takes us away from the fixing, the doing, the blaming, the finger-pointing, the right and the wrong, and moves us more into attuning with the heart of a boy and it, it turns our parenting work into a healing practice yeah. for us. To totally get the concept. Easy to say, harder to do. You've got, so you've got, so I get it, but very hard not to be reactive sometimes. You've got seven tips if you could take us through them quickly for conscious parenting. Yes, yes. Those seven tips are, you know, firstly, feel your feelings. Honestly, show up for your feelings. Um, spend... Do take the pause, so calm yourself down, take those deep breaths. It also, as parents, helps us, buys us some time. Um, we can also do things like say to our boys, look, you think about it, I'll think about it, and let's regroup later. I think that's a, a great tactic in that, in that uh, pause. Also think we need to stop jumping to conclusions. Um, it's really easy for us to kind of just assume something instead of asking the questions. So I always say broaden the context, go into more of a, a meta skill, contextual thinking, and ask the questions that you need to ask so that you can be more um, aware of the broader context. And also we need to say, is this age appropriate? Is, is he trying to achieve 
something with this behavior that we're not, you know, that we're not happy with. I also um, say that um, we need to, um, yeah, have a plan of action. So I always say the final instance, you know, come back down and do something practical and work out, well, what's the plan of action and, and how are we going to solve this? Yeah. And definitely follow up <laughs> with the boy. Yeah, know, it's, yeah, it's such a big topic and impossible to cover in just a few minutes. We've just touched on the surfer surface. Megan, thank you so much. Megan Tobias' book uh, is called How to Raise a Man. Um, I, have, I have read through it. Lots of great tips and, and practical ideas involved in that. That's the book. Megan says, men cannot think and talk at the same time. I would love to offer an argument for that, but I don't think I can. <laughs> Sounds about right.